for far too long, I think, the profession has regarded MS as an incurable neurological disease as some kind of mystery. I don't think there's a lot of mystery at all, actually. Our research and really the accumulated research shows it's a condition much like heart disease, uh, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, cancer, that's linked to the way people in affluent countries live. So I think we have to start looking at advising people to change their lifestyles, those risky lifestyles that put them at risk if they have this genetic predisposition to MS of getting the disease and of it progressing. The first line treatment, as it is in heart disease, should be advice and assistance for people who actually change their lifestyles, to eat better, to exercise, to reduce their stress, to give up smoking, all the things we consider are important for good health.